International, also the Dub Shack reggae band, and uh, right now um, about to release a 12-song instrumental collection called Empress Menon's Library, and uh, she's African co-regent. Um, this is about African intellectual property, going back to ancient books. This is an official soundtrack, two official soundtracks on the album, and just vibes, you know. So you're looking at the cover art. Um, I have a collaboration with Gogo Africa Art. They're out of Zimbabwe. And so this is exciting. Um, my first time collaborating with Afrofuturism artists. Um, Afrofuturism, as you know, is the concept of using fiction to tell real stories. Kind of like what Black Panther did, the first Black Panther. And um, it's actually a movement within global African art through fashion, music, food, music, and movies. And so, wanted to go to like a new realm with the music, pretty much. Most definitely, man. We got this uh, four seven eight TV interview on the way, man. We about to get ready to get into it, man. Y'all stay tuned. Peace. Covered with mud because there's a river. It was the middle of the summer, and everybody's just relaxed. It's the most relaxed show I ever played. Nobody was dressed. It was all about music. And the stage was state of the art, lasers, lights, this really big sound. You could hear this thing four or five miles away, which is why they chose a ranch, because you can make all the noise out there in a ranch. And um, people started coming running out of the woods when they heard that, just that raw guitar, wood sound. And people we didn't even know were at the festival. And that was when I realized, okay, this is going well. When I came...